Now keep in mind in this video, Blackjack will not be featured because he is not available to everybody because of this um the system that he has, the game time and all that. And also because of the fact he's not an actual specialist, he's a mercenary, as you see at the very top of his card thing. But anyway, let's go and hop into this video. So welcome back to another video guys. And in this video I'm going over pretty much the best specialist in Black Ops 3. Now I'm going over pretty much three different topics in this video. So basically I'll be going over the best specialist weapon, the best specialist ability, and the best overall specialist in the game. So like I mean a lot of people are gonna have different opinions and stuff like that because uh, everybody has a different playstyle. Some people might have a campy playstyle, some people have a rush playstyle. Starting off with the best specialist weapon. Now personally I'm gonna have to get this spot to it would have been the scythe if they didn't um you know tone it down if they didn't nerf it they literally nerfed the scythe three times and it probably is still one of the best in the game but they nerfed it so many times that it kind of took it away out of the nominee spot for me personally a lot of you guys probably saw this coming it's the specials i'm using right now and it's gonna have to be the Tempest. The Tempest is good for a lot of things. Of course, its weaknesses would pretty much include is um, charge delay. That's probably its biggest weakness in the fact that it got nerfed. Its beam size was smaller, so it, yeah, you gotta be a little bit more square centered with your shots, a little bit more accurate. Uh, first of all, it holds eight shots. It does not take too long to earn. It's capable of getting ridiculous feeds. It's probably the only specialist um, besides the hive and maybe even the war machine that can actually get kills after death like after you actually die and plus it gets that chain effect that i really do love about it so like um let's say you kill an enemy and you got another enemy behind cover thinks he's just gonna camp there and avoid fire then the tempest is gonna pick that guy up too and not only that it, it doesn't just kill one person it can just kill um three people if they're right next to the person that you shot with your tempest which is you know the first person you shot so in my personal opinion that's why i would personally say the tempest is the best specialist weapon all right now moving on to the best specialist ability now this will have to um depend on like i said the game mode but overall, like if you like want to go to ability for pretty much every single game mode, honestly, I would go with kinetic armor on this one. But the fact that it's probably one of the slower um, earned abilities, and the fact that um, you can still get headshotted, and you know you got people who run high caliber, which I really hate in the game. I really do hate high caliber. I kind of wish they would have kept that out of the game. But of course you got people who run those attachments making this um ability useless at times. And plus, like I said, it's a bit slower earned than some of the others. I would have to go with the Reaper's Psychosis. Now, the Reaper's Psychosis is pretty reliable. First of all, I think it's the fastest earned special ability in the game. And um on top of that, it can really trick a lot of um unskilled players. Well at least I can't say unskilled, but it is it kind of gets me even an experienced player like me kind of gets me but like if you study the way that the drop uh, that the um that the clones act and all that then um psychosis really won't be that effective against everybody especially if they know how the clones act compared to like an actual player but um basically they have boss behavior that's how the clones act so just look out for that when you're running against players with psychosis but other than that psychosis does work against at least 70% of the people that you will play against it does work against a lot of people even competitive I actually find this a bit useful it does provide a bit of a distraction so other than that that's why I would probably say psychosis is the best ability now the overall best specialist in the game would actually not go to the Reaper or the Prophet with his Tempest I'm gonna have to give this one to the Spectre. Now the Spectre has the fastest earnable weapon in the game. And I didn't talk about it yet, but yeah, the Ripper is pretty OP at close range. Like it's just really nothing you could do. Like if he locks onto you, 
you're pretty much done. Especially if he has a good reaction time, like good experience with the Ripper, you're pretty much done for. And the special ability also unlocks pretty fast. And it is really good, pretty much in any situation. Like, um, not for necessarily, well, actually, I take that back. Pretty much for every single game mode. It's really useful in every game mode. You know, search, um, hard point, anything like that. Because you can use that to, you know, sneak in an objective and just, like, like <laughs> pretty much do anything. You can um, use it to run across the field for, like, five whole seconds without, you know, um, being noticed or anything like that. So, that's why I would say Spectre is pretty much... I see why I would um, see Spectre a lot on the field as pretty much the most used specialist, especially when you consider it the way I'm talking about it. Like it really is um, a good overall specialist. It's probably yeah, probably definitely the best. Now, um, I was thinking about doing a bit of a series on like a tips and trick guide on pretty much how to unlock Hero Gear for each one of the specialists. Because keep in mind, I do have every single specialist with hero gear unlocked headpiece and body piece i'm sorry if i'm going a little bit too fast but i just want to showcase them to you while i'm here but um other than that that's pretty much going to be the end of this video and i will see you later peace out